What's going on YouTube? It's Blood Sweating Gears 87. Wanted to show you guys my new blind right here. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that that uh, real big food plot that I planted is doing extremely well. So I decided I would uh, buy this blind right here and set it up over that field. I think it's gonna be a game changer for deer season this year. But this right here is a sportsman's condo. And um, this is the information from the company that I got it from right here. And this particular blind is the SC2. Wanted to show you guys what it was looking like before we put it on the truck and try to um, mount it down there by that, by that plot, try to stand it up. And it does have these feet right here so that you can put um, four by four posts on it. So you basically, we're gonna uh, mount the stand on four by four posts and then we're gonna have to make like braces and uh, anchor the stand into the ground and all that good stuff. So I'll show you guys when we get all that together. But right now, I just wanted to show you the, the blind, what it looks like on the inside and all that good stuff. So as I work on this, the, um, the actual feet, the, the braces and the inside of the blind, I'll give you guys updates on all of that as we work on it. <clears throat> but let me show you the, the inside. It's pretty roomy in here. And this, this blind is actually four foot by six foot. It's really echoing it, echoey, if that's a word in here right now. So I'm probably gonna buy some uh, sound deadener to put in here eventually. Probably gonna put it around like on the walls in here. And I'm also planning, I'm gonna put some, uh, they have like a kit, a carpet kit. I'm gonna buy that as well and it'll go in here. But the plan is to take this down to that big food plot, set it up, um, put the carpet and all that good stuff in here, the sound dead in there. And then eventually we will have a, um, probably a computer chair in here as well. Let me show you guys how these, these windows work. And this is just blue protective film that's uh, on the window so when they ship it. So once we get ready to actually put the blind up, I will take the film off of those, off of the windows. But it does have windows the whole way around. I might as well do this one too. It has a window on the door, on the, uh, the door as well. So you guys can see the whole way around. This is probably gonna be a really, really dope blind when I get everything in here, get it all set up, and get it uh, mounted. Let me get out of it one more time so you guys can see it. And you also can put like a, a lock on here so nobody else can go back there and use your stand with your blind when you're not there. But again, this is the Sportsman's Condo SC2. It is a four foot by six foot blind. And I think this is going to be a game changer. I'm gonna have it kind of tucked up into the woods in the perfect little spot. Right over that plot. So I will check back in with you guys on the weekend when we attach the four by four post to this thing and attempt to stand it up. Check back in with y'all in just a minute. All right, y'all. So today we're about to try to put the blind up. But right now, um, before my cousins get here, I'm gonna go ahead and take this film off. And I have a camo kit that like goes on the windows where you can see out of the blind, but anything that's looking at the blind can't see in. So I'm gonna go ahead Take this film off, put those uh that camo kit on, and then uh by the time my cousins get here, I think we 
I'd be ready to try to take it onto the woods and get it together. So, let's see how this goes. Camo window kit installed. Looks pretty good. Like if you're standing back from it, you really can't see on the inside too well. Especially when I have it um like tucked up into the trees where I'm gonna mount it. It's gonna be uh kind of shadowy over there, so pretty sure that you will not be able to see into it on the outside. Like deer are around looking towards it. I don't think they're gonna be able to see. And on the inside here. You can still see out. So I think this is gonna work out pretty well. So now we have that installed. Got to work on putting it up. Then I'm gonna work on these uh, anchors and getting all that stuff together. Check back in with y'all in a second. Back up some first. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it toward this way. All right, so back up and then try to go that way. Yeah. All right. Yeah, see if we can. Yeah. Junior, you ain't got too much slack on it for us to move up. Feel like a uh, rail kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Talking about. All right, y'all. So this is how we looking. We got it up. We got all assembled. And we have it overlooking the food plot which is coming along rather well. And I figured out that that is a male persimmon tree. So I went ahead and trimmed it on up. And once it's winter time and some of this stuff is died out, I think I'm gonna go in there and cut the whole tree down because it's not really gonna help us at all. So anyway, here we go. It looks good right now. It's like the perfect spot where they kind of, I mean, they're going to notice it for a while, but I'm pretty sure they'll get used to it. And we left a bunch of the stuff that we cut off the tree to try to help camouflage it. So when I come in from the woods on this side, I can slide in here. They'll never know I was here. Cause, I mean, you can't see the ladder or anything. It's not all the way done. We are uh, added some of the braces to it, some of the wood braces, but I still have to uh, add some anchors you see it, we got it framed up pretty nice. I think we did a pretty good job with that. <laughs> to say we're not professionals. It looks pretty even, the whole thing. But I still have to add these brackets right here. And this is gonna be like our anchoring system. I'll show you guys that when I come back. I'm gonna have to uh, attach these brackets to the legs and then put the six foot rebar. I have to sledgehammer it in. So I'll leave that there until tomorrow. The other one is right here. You gotta see what this looks like. I have to come back and drill it in there and then run the rebar through it. But we got this thing framed up pretty nice. Man, I'm so glad my cousin came to help me with this. <laughs> if, I was, if I was trying to do it by myself, I don't know how it would have went. I 
take you guys around to the ladder we was working on. We cleared out this little path right here so we can walk into it. And check that out. Brackets made like a beautiful ladder. I think we got 10 steps. If I'm remembering correctly, we did 10 steps. Let me show you guys. It's looking like it. Still have to add the carpet and the chair and do the uh, sound bed and stuff in there. But let's make a sound channel. That's what I'm talking about. See almost the whole food plot. It is one hill over there. So like <laughs> if something comes in on the other side of the hill, we aren't gonna be able to see them. Cause I mean the stuff is so tall right now. But that's looking good. And it is July right now. So imagine how this field is gonna look come September, August, November, October, all that good stuff. They probably gonna be out here going crazy. Let me see. This is what we see out the other window. And then this one up right here, which there is a deer trail kind of in the woods over here. But you can see they've been using to come into the back of this plot. So I think it's all gonna work out. But we've been out here all day, so it's time to take it on home. So I'll show you guys what it's, what it's looking like tomorrow when I come back to put those anchors in. Check back in with y'all in just a minute. All right, y'all. So right now we're about to work on these uh, 10 foot pieces of rebar. I'm about to go back down to the blind and put the anchors in. So to put those anchors in, we need four six foot pieces of rebar. So I'm gonna have to take this uh, grinder right here, cut these things down to six feet. Then we'll go down there, install the anchors with the anchor brackets, and then we'll take these six foot pieces of rebar sledgehammer them into place. Let's go and get that started. And we will also be installing this anchor system right here. And uh, basically what it is, is it's got these brackets that screw onto the four by fours. And then they have an open space right here to put a piece of rebar in. So when these go on the four by four post towards the bottom, we're gonna take this rebar right here and um, Use a sledgehammer and knock it in the ground, and then that should hold all four of the posts together really well. And this rebar right here, um, about two pieces, they were 20 feet a piece. Then I got them to cut them in half. But this uh, this anchor system is calling for using uh, six foot pieces of the number five rebar. So I'm gonna take a grinder and cut these things down to um six feet because each one of them right now should be about 10 feet so we're gonna cut them down into six foot pieces and uh get this thing together let's get it rolling All right, y'all, so we got four pieces of the six foot rebar right there. We're about to take it down to the blind and get it anchored in. Check back in with y'all in a second. All right, y'all, so what we're doing now is taking these brackets, the ones I showed you the other day, these brackets right here, and we're gonna have to put them on, 
screw them into the four by four post, knock the rebar through it. But they want you to put them at uh, four inches. So I already marked that one. So let me go ahead and mark this one for four inches. Then we'll get this thing, get the ball rolling. They want you to put them in at different angles as well. So like this piece of rebar is gonna go in that way. Then we're gonna have this piece go in this way. And then we're gonna do the opposite ways on the back side too. Just gonna hold the whole thing in place. All right, so now we're about to try to uh, sledgehammer these pieces of rebar in. The one that's uh, the one that's on this side, like, is gonna be aggravating just because all the stuff is over here. I might have to come around the other side and try to knock that one in. This one should be kind of easy to knock in. I'm hoping. So, now those in the ground. I'm gonna have to uh, take some bolts, tighten them up on there, and that thing should never move. Let's go and do the ones on the back now. Whew. Don't judge my sledgehammer skills, y'all. Now, we just got to get those uh, bolts, put them through here, so that the rebar won't go anywhere. I mean, it's not going anywhere as hard as it was to sledgehammer them all down. But once we put these screws in here, they'll just lock them in place. Whew. That was uh, almost more difficult than putting the whole stand up and framing it. Now this particular leg, we had to bury down a little bit more to get the get the blind kind of level. So the anchor and the bracket and everything on that one is completely buried, so you can't see it. This one is almost the same way because we had, we had to drop these uh, back legs down some more. So I mean, you can't really see that one that well. But I go to the front so you guys can see a little better. And they also have uh, they have. Another kind of little, I don't know if you can see it, little spot right there, welded onto the bottom of the frame of the blind. And uh, if you want it to, you can like run another anchor that goes from this spot straight down into the ground. I mean, obviously it'll be a different kind of anchor than those ones. It'll be one where you have to use like wire and a um, turnbuckle and all that good stuff. But the way we got this one in here, man, and it's kind of tucked in here nice between all these trees and stuff. I just don't foresee it going anywhere. So I kind of doubt we 
you gonna have any problems with that. But let me show you. Let me show y'all what they look like in the front. You see how these brackets are? It's you know screwed into the four by four post, and then we have six feet of rebar going all the way down into the ground, and you got these bolts and just hold the rebar into place so this thing isn't going anywhere and then each one of them is angled a different way i mean you can you can see you guys can see like this piece of rebar is going in this way this one's going in that way then the ones back here i think one's going this way and then the other one's going that way so this thing is not going anywhere And this kit also had the step brackets, and it came from the same company that makes the uh, that makes the SC2 Sportsman's Condo. They also make those step brackets that we use to make the ladder. Now the anchor brackets, I got them from a different company, but um, I have the the, the link to where you can get those brackets in the description. And I also had a link to where you can get those uh, step brackets as well. But uh, you guys saw a couple of my cousins came out here, helped me put it up. And then my other cousin helped me frame this whole thing. He helped me do the steps and everything. Like without him, we wouldn't have got this done. And it wouldn't look so professional. But he knew what he was doing. So it's kind of why I called on him in the first place. But let me get back again so you guys can see it. I think it turned out amazing and then uh, a lot of the limbs that we had to trim so that I could see out into the food plot we basically just left them there for like some cover when I'm getting in and out of the blind so I think that's gonna do it for this video um well, I have another stand I'm gonna go check out. I might throw that in here in a second. I'm trying to make sure it's level. And this, uh, it's like on the other side is hedgerow over here, looking into a food plot that's on the other side. So we're gonna go check that one out too. But the SC2 is up, and I'll keep you guys updated when I do a couple more things to it. But that's gonna be, that's gonna, uh, So until next time, it's Blitz with the Givers 87. If you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I'll holler at y'all later.